this University of the West Indies, our University of the West Indies, which we love and care for, has reached its 70th year of service to the people of the West Indies, the greater Caribbean and the world beyond. We all know the circumstances surrounding its origins, beginning in the 1940s with the popular revolt against colonization and the rise of the democracy movement, our university came into being in 1948. Since then, it has given 70 years of distinguished and excellent service uh, to this region. We all know that the process of nation building, the collapse of colonies across the West Indies and the emergence of sustainable nations, all of that was made possible because of the investments that were made in the University of the West Indies. The regional integration movement, the UWI has been the spine, the, the backbone of this movement for regional integration not only in terms of the gathering of the finest minds uh, in this region, but also the creation of discussions, the creation of the institutions, the movement of the intellectual community, of students, of administrators, all of that has been made possible because of the University of the West Indies. And it has been involved in all the areas of civic engagement, discussions about economic growth, discussions about social justice, about cultural integrity, about the liberation of the imagination of Caribbean young peoples. All of these conversations have been a part of the journey of the UWI. It is not only a distinguished regional university. It is a university that has acquired a global brand, respected all over the world for the excellence of its students, its professors, its administration. Indeed, UWI is the site of excellence. Excellence in scholarship, the excellence of the people of the Caribbean. In every household across this region, in every island, in every country, the UWI, the debates, its impact has been felt. Four campuses, one university. But now we have gone into the global world in a different way. We now have a center with our colleagues at the State University of New York, the UWI SUNY Institute for Leadership and Sustainable Development in New York. We have also engaged our colleagues at the University of Lagos. We now have a University of Lagos UWI Center for History and Culture. We are seeking to establish a similar institute in Suzhou in China where we have established with our colleagues in Suzhou a center for software engineering. But in this 70th year, we will celebrate. We will celebrate our graduates, our alumni all over the world and the region, our students, our faculty, our administrators, our governments, our investors in the private sector, all of our participants to this journey to excellence will be celebrated in this 70th year. But it's also a time not only for reflection, but for projection, looking into the future, looking into the next 20 to 50 years. And we have started in earnest our new strategic plan, five-year strategic plan, 2017-2022, is entitled the Triple A Strategy because we will seek to be more accessible to the people of the region. We will seek to align this university even more effectively with the stakeholders of this region. And we will seek also to be more agile and seeking out opportunities to expand and to develop this university but we are all faced in this region with this crippling economic crisis that is before us. And for this reason, our strategic plan is subtitled Rekindling Caribbean Economic Development. We need to generate more wealth in this region. We need to redistribute this wealth more equitably. The economic transformation of this region is critical to the future of our university. So as we speak about economic growth and the emphasis our university will place 
on economic transformation. We will also speak simultaneously about social justice. These have been our traditional objectives. And so our 70th year will be a time of celebration of the magnificence of this enterprise we call the University of the West Indies, this regional effort, this regional mobilization. But it will also be a time for us to look into the future and to speak about the journey ahead. In this regard, as Vice Chancellor of the University of the West Indies, I celebrate each and every one of you and we look forward to working even more closely with you as we project the future, our future, the future of Caribbean peoples. I thank you.